here you are. We're in 2022. I'm going to say some names. You tell me what this kind of image is in your mind. Lucid, Rivian, Tesla, Ford Mach-E, uh, Ford Lightning Truck. What does that mean to you? We're in a new era. It's a new time, fantastic new vehicles, but there's some challenges. And man, I want to talk about it. Hey, good morning to you. It's morning, I don't know when you're watching this, but I'm in the morning, so you should be in the morning. I don't care what time it is. So this morning, I wanna to talk to you about electric cars. I love electric cars, but I'm also a master electrician. Man, there's a code change. 2020 code, depending on where you're living at in the country, man, there's some changes. But if you're an electric car owner, or you're thinking about buying an electric car, Tesla, Mach-E, all of them, there's so many really cool cars out right now. But if you're doing home charging, there's a code change that you need to know. Okay, it's gonna make a huge difference. Okay, so the 2020 code, here you go. One of my favorite books. Good starting point. But look, so hang on, but this is gonna affect not only how you charge your electric car or you install that circuit, uh, but what it costs as well, and you might have some problems. So we've run into this, and I want you to know about this. So in the 2020 code, which is our latest code that's been adopted, um, for, and it, just so you guys, for the old guys who want to know, Article 625.54 is basically GFCI protection uh, for personnel. So here's what this means. Until recently, when you installed your 220 circuit to charge your cool car, it was just a 220 circuit. It could be a regular big 1450R plug or a wall connector. But when you had that plug, it was just a straight plug. Well, here's now, here's the bottom line. You have to have that circuit out in the garage, typically. It has to be a GFCI breaker. It has to be, okay? So he's like, okay, so what? Electrician's gonna stick a GFI breaker in there, it's gonna be fine. Two things to worry about, and we've run into this. Number one, we've had occasionally with some of the electric cars, when they're charging, would nuisance trip that GFCI breaker. That's a problem. Nobody likes to charge the car, go to bed, and wake up and realize that at 11 p.m. it stopped charging because the breaker tripped. It's a problem, okay? The second thing, some of you live in older homes, you're not gonna be able to put a two pole 50 GFCI breaker in your panel. Didn't make them for those, uh, those, those panels. So you, you gotta figure out a couple options. So I wanted to bring those up and I want your questions because a lot of people when they're looking at buying a really cool car is like, I don't care, some electrician's gonna fix it for me. If you're smart enough to buy an electric car, you're smart enough to think through some of these details. So, National Electrical Code Article 625.54, when you put in, especially if it's a receptacle, if it's a plug-in, that has to be on a GFCI breaker. You gotta make sure your car is compatible with it. And number two, you gotta make sure you can stick one of these in your panel or find a way to do a workaround. And I'll cover that in another video. But good luck. This is exciting times. It's 2022, and there's a lot of super cool electric cars uh, that are out and that are coming out. And this is just one of those details you need to know. Y'all, click subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one.